Welcome back to the Road to Manchester Marathon Series. It's now episode five, that's gone quick, so the penultimate episode in the series. And it's only two weeks to go until Manchester Marathon now, so stay tuned for um, some tips on my strategy for the taper and the usual weekly training roundup. <laughs> and sunny this morning but as usual British weather we're now into sort of the second week of April and yeah it's still pretty cold so it was, we had a frost overnight still got the gloves on um, but this type of weather seriously would be ideal for Manchester Marathon not too warm a little bit cold at nine o'clock eight o'clock time but we'll probably only get to about 10 degrees peaking throughout the marathon which would be ideal conditions for running in. you my thoughts on the taper and what sort of strategy I'm going to adopt going into the last two weeks of the marathon so a um, bit of background on tapering so something you might hear quite a lot runners saying that they're tapering for the marathon or tapering for a big race um, it's to do with getting to the end of your training cycle so you've been doing all your hard training those interval sessions, tempo sessions, long runs, and your big weekly mileage. And it's a process of then dropping down that mileage, going into the last, say, probably a couple of weeks of your marathon build before race day. So now is the time for me to start thinking about that taper. You can do it in a number of different ways, but I suppose a way that I've tried different ways and the way I like to do my taper is to just reduce the volume and the mileage throughout a week really and then probably knock back maybe 10% on the intensity so I'm talking about when I'm going to do my sessions I still want to keep that practice of running quick in there but not that quick that I'm pushing myself and possibly picking up a niggle or an injury going into the last um, two weeks of a marathon training and putting all that good training at risk what I've been doing for say 10 to 16 weeks in the block you don't want to risk that on the last week by potentially pulling a muscle that's tight going into the, the race state there so so the key areas I'm looking to change up this week probably looking to knock my weekly volume down by say like about 20% or something in this week this is just, which is two weeks out from the marathon and then I'll be looking to really knock down that um, weekly volume before the marathon I know I'll be running 26 miles at the end of that week but probably looking at only doing 20 or 25 miles in that week before the marathon which is a lot lower than I typically do before I then go and do my long run on a Sunday in a normal training week so it is really more about knocking down where I do an eight mile easy run knock that down to a five or a six and that's an easy way to just shave off a couple of miles and then maybe take some of the volume off the session so if I was doing say an eight to three minute session I could then knock that down to say a, a five or a six lots of three minutes for my interval session this week so I'm still going to keep intensity in even in race week I'll probably try and get one good session in and then also try and run a little block within a short run at marathon pace just to make sure that my legs are used to running at that marathon pace. 
other area I'll mention is the long run in terms of how I'm going to drop that down. So if you've been following the series, you'll have seen that my long run peaked at 22 miles the week before Ashby 20. I've ended a 20 mile run. I did, I think I did 18, no sorry, 15 the week after Ashby 20 last week. And then the weekend before the marathon, what I've done in the past and what served me well is to run a half marathon at quite a steady pace. So I'm thinking probably something 20 to 30 seconds outside a marathon pace, maybe even a little bit slower, um, just to practice there and not load up a lot on that long run. So the idea is that my legs will feel fresher come race day on the Sunday in Manchester. It's now Wednesday lunchtime and if you can hear me okay in the wind you're joining me on my shakeout run over Washlands. So to recap on what sessions I've been doing I've gone for a similar approach to what I did a couple of weeks ago where I'm doing um, sessions on consecutive evenings but what I've done is a shorter um, volume track session um, last night which I did on the track that was four 400s and four 200s the 200s were with a bit of a jog recovery going in between the reps and 400s were static recovery and then tonight I'll be doing a probably a little bit more volume um, interval session where I'll be focusing on more traditional reps with say a 60 90 second recovery we did an interval session with a club at South Derbyshire and focusing on probably more sort of 5k 10k work whereas last night's was trying to focus on that top end speed that I've been working on for the past five or six weeks This is the first time in about probably five or six weeks actually with all this weather we've been having that I've been able to do a full loop of the washlands without my roads being flooded. It still looks pretty flooded elsewhere but the paths seem to be okay. So back to interval sessions here soon. I decided to have a rest day on Thursday as I had a long drive down to Bournemouth was about four hours on Thursday evening and then going into Friday this was a tempo run so decided to do a short tempo run trying to get some miles in at marathon pace and it actually turned out slightly under marathon pace so the first mile was just under 6.35s so and then I dropped down to 6.30s for the rest of the three miles of the tempo run so really pleased with that little short tempo session on Friday. I'm now joining you on Sunday morning, which is my final long run of a marathon block. So in terms of distance, what are we doing? Here's 13 miles this morning. So the last few weeks, if you've been following the series, I've been dropping it down from about 22 miles to 20 miles, 18 miles, and then finally to 13 miles there. Just got chased a little bit by a dog there. <laughs> Probably didn't like the filming, so. Um, yeah, 13 miles today. Be sure to take some clips and follow me along on the journey. So in terms of pacing for this run, um, what I'm going to be doing is slightly over my marathon pace. So what I want to do at Manchester is 640s. 
If I get too close to that, it's just going to burn me out. So trying to hit the roundabout, sort of 7.30 pace would be nice for today, but I don't know the route, so it may well be on different ground, a bit of hills. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. over 13 miles there in about 139 so really pleased with that one and have ended up on the beach just with the cliffs hopefully not on the sea so I was thinking all throughout that run I can't remember doing a long run if it's got more scenic conditions than the one today so it's lovely to run along the cliffs and the beach through some nice woodland areas through the bunny um, and then yes it'll still be fairly flat um, did have to walk up the steps of the cliff in about mile 10 or 11 um, which just set me back a little bit and it was uphill through the bunny all the way back so in terms of fueling and everything I was starting to feel it after about an hour and a half because I'd had a pint of water before I come out and um, it was probably needed a bit of a sip of water throughout there as I do sweat quite a lot and lose that water throughout the run so all in all a great long run um, brilliant Sunday morning and work done for the week heading into Tinker Week next week and a roundup of the week so in total I did 40 miles this week I was planning on doing around 45 ish but it didn't turn out that way but I got enough miles in to do that but it was no worries as I did go for more of a keeping the intensity in week rather than focusing on the mileage so the previous week I'd gone for 60 miles I did then drop down to 40 this week but I got in two of those interval sessions so the track session I did the top end track session done that um, club session which was slightly slower paces but a bit more volume in there and then a tempo session on the Friday and then I'm guessing another tempo session with the park run on Saturday as those were both run slightly quicker than marathon pace so all in all really pleased with that week a good solid week of training as I'm dropping down going into the final week now into Manchester marathon so my legs should start to feel nice and fresh going into race day and looking to get that sub three on the day and looking to see Robbie home under that three hour mark too Thanks for listening to this week's video and be sure to check into next week's video and find out if we did manage to break that magical sub-free barrier.